Hello everyone, welcome to Electronically Connected. In this video, we will be covering the various Boolean laws and the expressions. We will also implement these laws and simplify some Boolean expressions. We will also be discussing how to create a gate level equivalent diagram for a given Boolean expression and how it can be deduced further. So let's get started. So let's understand the first type of our Boolean law. These law follow the OR gate mechanism. So OR gate was 0, 0, 0 and for the rest of the inputs it gave 1. So let's see how the OR gate to table can be implied to my Boolean laws. So A plus 0 is equal to A. So let's take A as 1. So if it's 1 plus 0 is equal to 1, you can see 1 plus 0 is equal to 1. And if my A is 0, so that is 0 plus 0 is equal to 0. So that means whatever the value of my a is, this is what the output gets. So a plus 0 is equal to a. This is called identity law. Moving forward to the null law, similarly again, 1, let's take a as 1. So 1 plus 1 is equal to 1 and 0 plus 1 is again equal to 1. This is called the null law. Now a plus a, that means both the inputs are similar for this condition. So we have 0 plus 0 is equal to 0. And 1 plus 1 is equal to 1. Hence, what are the in, whatever my input is, that is what the output is. So, a plus a is equal to a. This is called the indemnitant law. Moving forward to the inverse law, this can be also be written as a plus a bar is equal to a. That means 1 plus 0 is equal to 1. Moving forward to the commutative law, a plus b is equal to b plus a. So, even if we change 1 plus 0 is equal to 0 plus 1, both my answers are going to be 1, these two cases. Moving forward to the associative law, so if we just bracket these differently, the output is still going to be same. So let's take one of the examples, we have 1 plus 0 plus 0. So what is my answer going to be? 1 plus 0 is 1 and 1 plus 0 is again 1. The answer is going to be same even if this is the case, so it's going to be 1 plus 0 plus 0. 0 plus 0 is 0 and 1 plus 0 is again 1. Hence, the output is the same. The next law is a little different. It's a plus a b is equal to a. This is called the absorbitary law. Let's see how we get the answer. So, let's take a as common. So, it gets 1 plus b. Now, 1 plus any number is equal to 1. We can see this in the null law. Hence, we get a into 1 and hence my answer is a. Moving forward to the next category of our law, these law follow the AND truth table. So let's draw the AND gate truth table. 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. These are my inputs. And according to the AND gate, only the input where both the inputs are same, my output is 1. Rest all the cases, the output is 0. Using this, let's understand the laws. So A dot 1 is equal to 1. So let's take A as 1. So 1 dot 1 is equal to 1. And if my a is 0, we have 0 dot 1 is equal to 0. So whatever my value of a was, that's what the output is. So a dot 1 is equal to a. This is the identity law. Moving forward to the null law, we have a dot 0 is equal to 0. So anything which is anded with a 0 gets an output of 0. Now a dot a is equal to a. So if we have 1 dot 1, we have 1 and 0 dot 0 is equal to 0. So, a dot a is equal to a. Now, moving forward to the inverse law, we have a dotted with an inverse of itself, so a bar. So, 1 dot 0 is equal to 0 and 0 dot 1 is equal to 0. So, the output is 0. The next is the commutative law, switching with each other. So, we have 1 dot 0 and 0 dot 1 both the answers are same, which is 0. Moving forward to the associative law, we can just switch the places and still the output is going to remain the same. Next is the distributive law. Let's understand this carefully. Let's open the bracket. So what we get is a, a plus a c plus b a plus b c. Now, what is a dot a? a dot a is a with itself. This was the indemnitant law. So we have a plus ac plus ba plus bc. We'll go one term at a time. Now, 
Let's take a common over here. We have a plus 1 plus c. I'm just going to keep this same. Now 1 plus c using the OR gate, 1 plus any number is 1 itself. So we get a is remaining. Now we get a is equal to b a plus b c. Let's take a common here again. So we have a 1 plus b plus b c. Again 1 odd with any number is 1 itself. So again we get a plus b and c. This is what we have my law. Next moving forward to the next law. This is called the uh, adsorbing law. I'm going to erase everything. So we have let's open the bracket. We get a a plus a b again a dot a is equal to a itself. So a plus a b taking a common we have 1 plus b using again the laws from the uh, or side that was the null law 1 plus any number is 1 itself. So we get a moving forward let's understand what my D Morgan's law stands for. So the D Morgan's law states that if we have a b bar so this bar can be broken down and it can be written as a bar plus b bar. Similarly if I have a plus b the whole bar this can be broken as a bar dot b bar. So we can see any the dot gets converted to a plus and the plus gets converted to a dot breaking the bar sign. This is called the De Morgan's law. So let's try and simplify this equation this boolean e equation but first let's understand the gate equivalent diagram for this. So we have three inputs a b and c let's draw the three inputs these are my three inputs a dot b that means the anding of these two gates so let's draw an and gate to represent this we have two inputs a and b and my, my output a b moving forward to the next term we have b plus c that means an or gate so we have b plus c we use an or gate and this is anded with A. We have a dot over here. So let's extend this and again we'll draw an and git. This is my third term B plus C. Next term we have B anded with B plus C. So this was the output of my B plus C. This was B plus C. So let's take my B plus C and and it with B. So I'm going to extend my wire from B and it. This is B into b plus c now all the three terms are actually odd together we can see the plus sign so all my three terms are odd together so we have a big or gate with three inputs the first term second term and third term odd together to find to form y so we have a b and c forming the gate equivalent so here we can see the number of gates that are formed used are one 2, 3, 4, 5. But this is a lot of no lot number of gates. We need to reduce the number of gates. That's where the simplification comes into picture. So let's try and simplify this first. So let's open the, all the brackets. So we, now let's start using the laws. We have AB plus AB. So that's it's like 1 plus 1. Same term is equal to 1, right? So we have 1 plus 1 is equal to 1 using the OR gate. So we're going to write just once then a c then again b dot b so we had 1 dot 1 is equal to 1 or 0 dot 0 is equal to 0 b plus b c now let's see the these two terms let's take b common so we have 1 plus c again 1 plus a was equal to 1 using the null law so we have is just b now in these two terms let's take let's keep it same Let's take over here we have AB plus AC. Now let's take B common from these two terms. What we have remaining is B common. We have A plus 1 plus AC. Again, 1 plus A is equal to 1. So we have B plus AC. Now we can see that we have no more terms remaining. Hence, this is my final output after simplification. Now what are the number of gates over here we can see? We have again A, B and C. First is the anding of a and c so we have a 
and C ending and odd with B. So we have this is B plus A C. So we can see how the number of gates have reduced to just two gates. Let's solve another question. First, let's write this again. So we have the negate sign that means this whole term has a bar and the dash sign above B that means there's a bar above B. So it is A B bar plus A bar B the whole bar and this is ended with A plus B. Let's break this. So according to De Morgan's law, when we break a bar, it changes the plus sign un under it to dot and the bar breaks. So we have A, B bar the whole bar, dot, A bar B the whole and it with A plus B. Now again, the De Morgan's law gets applied over here. So that and gets turned to or. So we have A bar plus B double bar dot A bar plus B bar. Now look carefully. B double bar and A double bar. If we have B double bar, this is again equal to B. How? If we have 0 bar, it's equal to 1 and there's another bar that means there's 1 bar which is again equal to 0. So B double bar is equal to B. So let's just erase the double bar in both these cases. Now moving forward, let's open the bracket for these two terms. What we get is the first term is as it is. We should be by now being able to identify the laws. A dot A is equal to A. B bar and B is equal to 0. So what is remaining is A plus AB plus B bar A plus 0. Let's write this. I'm not going to write a 0 because any term plus a 0 that means or. So A plus 0 is equal to A. So we're going to get this term. Now let's take A common from all the three terms. So what we have remaining is A 1 plus B plus B bar. And the first term is as it is. So what we have is 1 plus any term. So 1 plus any term is again 1 itself and 1 dot. So what we have remaining is A bar B and here we have A. 1 plus any term is 1 itself. So 1 dot A dot 1. Now what is A dot 1 is again A itself. So what we have remaining is A bar plus B and A itself. Let's open the bracket. So what we have if we open the bracket is A, A bar plus A, B. Now recalling our inverse law A and A bar so that was 1 dot 0 is again equal to 0. So we have 0 plus A, B and 0 plus any number is the number itself. So the answer becomes A, B. So here we can see how such a big term got simplified to just A, B. So the original number of gates that we would have had in our term, given term would be 1 for this, 1, 2, 3, and then 4 because it's oring, 5 because it's anding, and because of the negate, so it's 6, 7, and the negate itself over here, so it's again 8. So we used to have 8 gates, which now got reduced to just 1 gate. So this is why simplification of our Boolean expressions are very important, so that we can reduce the number of gates. With this, we come to the end of our video. Hope you are able to understand the laws. I understand there's a lot of laws, but with practice, you will be able to identify what laws need to be implemented to go further with the simplification. So keep practicing, take sample questions and keep simplifying. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Till then, happy learning. See you next time.